How you doing? Uh, pretty I good. got this today. A signed Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth was the greatest ever. Not the greatest. Ty Cobb was the best baseball player ever. Joe DiMaggio. No, Ty Cobb. DiMaggio. Over 10 years, batting over 400. I get nothing for that. <laughs> I've come down to the pawn shop today to sell my signed photograph of Babe Ruth. It's worth lots of money. I'm hoping to sell it today for 7,000, but I would take uh, as little as 5,500. Where in the world did you get this? 20 years ago, I was asked to remove boxes from an old lady's home, and before I tossed them in the dumpster, I opened them up, and I found that. All right. Babe Ruth, he's probably the most famous baseball player of all time. There's the legend that he said, I'm going to hit a home run. I'm going to point to where I'm going to hit it. It sort of looked like he pointed to left field and then hit the ball out there. But there's really no proof or anything like that, but it's a great legend. Sure is, yeah. He had some heartburn with Boston. When Boston traded him, that's what caused the curse of the Bambino. Babe Ruth started his professional baseball career in 1914, and in his 21 years in the majors, he set all kinds of records. First to hit 60 home runs in a season, 714 career homers. He's got records people are still trying to break. It's not really a baseball card, it's just sort of like a photograph. It says from Babe Ruth to Eleanor Ruth Dobson. Do you know who that is? She came up as a vaudeville actress in the era where he played in baseball. We have Babe Ruth in one ink, and this down here in another ink, which throws up red flags, sure. you know what I mean? I've never noticed that. Uh, have you ever had the signature checked out? No. Uh, it's got to be one of the most forged signatures of all time. When it comes to sports autographs, it doesn't get better than Babe Ruth. So you have to get something like this checked out by a pro. Let me get someone down here to check the signature out. Everything checks out. We'll try and figure out a price. All right. Sounds okay. like a deal. Appreciate it. I'm a little bit nervous because of the two different pens being used, and I'm hoping that uh, at least Babe Ruth is real. Well, well. Babe Ruth. The guys call me in when they have specific problems with autograph for memorabilia, and I'm the guy for the job. You know, he had a great history. He basically grew up in a boys' school, uh, mainly because he was so unruly, his parents couldn't handle him, you know? I think he was drafted when he was 16 or 17 years old. He had to be adopted to get into the league. And of course, all the home runs, just a legend. Well, Babe Ruth is probably the biggest name for sports memorabilia. His autograph is extremely valuable. Let's take a closer look, see what we have. There's certain areas of Babe Ruth's signature that he always does. It's very consistent, and those are the things you have to look for. We can see that there is a different ink being used for the word from, and also the inscription at the bottom. Have you ever heard of Eleanor Ruth Dobson? I know about his two wives he had. He had two daughters. He had only one sister that survived uh, from infancy, and this is not one of them. So it could be just a coincidence, but uh, I don't know who this individual is. This was done after the fact by somebody else. The bottom part is not written by Babe Ruth. One of the things that Babe Ruth always did, he's always wrote his capital R larger than his capital B. The, the stem of the small case B is one of the tallest structures, and that is occurring here. One of the things the forgers always seem to miss is the epsilon E. It comes off the baseline, and there's a sharp little angle to it. If you take all the evidence in its totality, Yeah, this thing's definitely authentic all the way. All right, that's cool, man. Sweet. Well, after looking at all the details of the signature, it's absolutely 100% authentic. However, if you look at the inscription on it, that was definitely written in later by somebody else. So what I would recommend in a situation like this, because it's not a baseball card, I would cut off the bottom part, and it'll look beautiful. Really? Yeah. OK. So Drew, what do you think it's worth? Uh, it's a beautiful signature. It's a nice photograph of his uh, later years as a player. I would say anywhere between 2,000, 2,500 retail. Okay. Yeah, that's about a fair price. All right, thanks. All right, thank you, Rick. Take care, guys. So what do you want to do with this? Sell it. And how much do you want for it? Um, negotiable, for sure. Okay, I'll give you a thousand bucks. Thousand bucks. Can we do better? No. 13. <laughs> Meet in the middle, 1250. I'll tell you what, I'll go 1,100 bucks on it. I mean, that's fair. It's going to sit around here a while. 1,200. 1100 is going to be it. And I have cash money. $100 bills. Sure, I'll do it. All right. Appreciate it. All Thank right, you. Let's go this on. Thank you. $1,100 was less than what I was hoping for, but in the end, I made money in Vegas, so I can't complain. Mr. Brown and I got along famously. <laughs>
I tittled through a pass. I caught the ball myself. It's got a name engraved on it. How did you end up with this? Sounds so fun.